Hello, dear students. Today we will talk about principles of management. The principle of management started more than hundred years ago. Still, there are room for any new inventors or thinkers to come up with a good a formula, a model, or a system of management. What we are doing now is to review the past and the present as to what are the best known principle of management. In my opinion, we will have to understand about four series or set of principle of management. First is called 14 principle of management by Henri Fayot. Henri Fayot was a French industrialist who is now recognized as the father of modern management. Okay. So what are the 14 principles of management? First, division of work. Second, balancing authority and responsibility. Third, discipline. Fourth, unity of command. Fifth, unity of direction. Sixth, Subordination of individual. Seven, interest to the general interest. Eight, remuneration. Nine, centralization. Ten, scalar chain. Eleven, order. Twelve, Equity. Thirteen. Stability of tenure of personnel. Initiative. Thirteen and spirit the goals. So these are the fourteen principle that you may have to read in detail again from the the passage uh, the article I submitted to you via the B chat group. Okay. Now the second one is the say seven quality management principle. This one was issued by ISO nine thousand one in the year twenty fifteen. ISO do not do not pronounce ISO because ISO the word come from the the word ISO it means equal and it was issued by International Standard Dissection Organization. You may have heard about ISO nine thousand ISO twelve thousand so on and so forth. See. The seven quality management comprise mm. customer focused leadership, engagement of people, process approach, improvement, evidence based decision making, relationship management. Okay, this is the second set of principle. The first one being 14 
principle of only five The second being seven quality management of ISO 9001. Now the third one. Basic principle of management. Basic principle of management meaning that you cannot manage without this basic. First, planning. Second, organizing. Third, leading and controlling. Planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. Okay. Without it, you cannot manage. Okay, the last set is the so-called five principle of great management. Uh, five principle of management. Again, number one, science, not rule of thumb. Science, not rule of thumb. What does it mean by Rule of thumbs. Rule of thumbs, it means you do it according to your own judgment, your own experience, without reason to other. Okay. Second, harmony, not discord. You have both employers and employees must must work without any conflict. Okay. Third, mental revolution. The technique of mental revolution involves a change in the attitude of workers and management towards each other. The idea is that employees should not think of their employers as their boss and vice versa. The boss should not think of their employees as servants, but they should think of each other as colleague, collaborative workers. Okay. That's number three, mental revolution. Number four, cooperation, not individualism. This principle is uh, an extension of harmony. That means that both uh, employers and employees must work with mutual confidence, sense of goodwill, and the intention to repress internal com competition mm. with cooperation. Get rid of the term competition, but try to encourage the term cooperation. Number five, development of each and every person to his or her greatest efficiency and prosperity. So these are the five principles. So I take these two clips as the basic for you to work on the principle of management and come up with your own set of principles. Okay, thank you very much.